Hi guys, I showed you my Little Tykes Catch Me Crabby toy I was playing with the other night. I was shining a bright light on it to control its movements. It just goes side to side. It's supposed to detect when people get close to it through its little eye there. It didn't seem to do that, but it did work if I shone a laser pointer on it. Anyway, I did say that we'd have a look at doing a little tear down on it. I'm not going to take everything apart because it's got an awful lot of screws, but we'll see if we can just take the back off anyway. I did say the reason I bought this one was it was only a pound. I've seen two more in charity shops today and they were all or well, they were both more expensive. So I'm happy that I just paid a pound for this one. Right, are these no they're different size screws. Oh right. That one up there, that one over there. I hate it when they use different size screws. That one's the same size. When I did the video of this the charity shop video, I used my action camera to film it. It seemed to work okay. I'm back to using my normal Canon SX what is it? SX60 HS. So well we'll see how we get on. Is that gonna come off easily? No. Too much to hope for, wouldn't it? A bit of gentle leverage. Yeah, that's okay. That isn't. Get the impression there's one more screw somewhere. It's like those feet are holding it in place. Or am I just not trying hard enough? Yeah, I'm just not trying hard enough. There we go. Careful, careful. Speaker, okay. Right start, that's our what's written on there. The yellow wires go to right, purple wires go to left, brown wires go to start. Yes, that's the that's the push button there. Blue wires go to speaker. It actually says motor there. Let's go to motor. There must be, looking at these green wires going up into the pinches here, it did say something about there being um, 
sensors in there just so it could tell if somebody got their fingers stuck in it. So that's what the left and right is. be a bit careful Let's see what else we can get apart there's lots of bits here that get lost right, I think if I undo the screws that are in there Looks like the, the motor unit might come out. Yeah, I think we have to do that. Different screwdriver. types of screws again. something else is holding it. It doesn't want to come easily. This is a complicated little bit of kit for a simple kiddies toy. Right, a little diversion, we'll just take one of these pinches apart so we can see where the switch is. screwdriver so I can try and keep my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing off yes okay well that's easy enough point with this so we got the green the pair of green wires come down here to this little micro switch here that's operated like that So that would be operated if something got in there and pushed that part down. Like a child's finger. And then while we're at it, 
this white piece here goes straight the way across to the other side. And it's also, I can see in there, it's on a cam. So that's moving. Yeah, moving them that way. See the white bit coming up and down. So that's what moves them. Just trying to see if I can get it apart without breaking it and without undoing it. Yes. Let's come off there. Will that lift off underneath? Yes. Okay. So that piece is pivoted on there. That bit sits in there. I've got a bit of a slot there to give it a bit of movement right, I still can't see what's stopping it all coming apart though okay on well the front wheels are just a wheeling on there and the back wheels are fixed onto the drive axle. There must be some screws under there. I think I might put this bit back together again though, because we don't need it to be a part. Or do we? No, I don't think we do. Lower that bit of wire, otherwise we'll get it trapped. So they can go back in. Gosh, up to fourteen minutes already. We've hardly started. then Oops, 
holding it? Nothing. It's just a bit tight. Right, okay. Well, we can see a little bit more now that it's come apart. So the first thing we can see, well, we can see that that's the button on the top that activates it. And there's our, I'll call it an LED. Uh, light detector, anyway. Try not to lose all the bits. Find out. That side, little button on that side, which are operated by that coming all the way up, and that one coming all the way in. So that's how it detects when it hits something, I should think, side to side. That would make sense. So it should reverse direction. Um, at the risk of everything going horribly wrong, what happens if we press the that button? Nothing. Uh, oh yeah, need to switch them on. Okay. So if we try and hold it, and press that button. Mm, it seems to be fairly random. Okay, well. Okay, we can see the electric motor anyway. This is going to be fun trying to remember how this goes back together. Battery box down there, so that's negative coming up from the battery. Positive in there. I really don't much fancy taking the gearbox apart, to be quite honest. positions high low off and try me so in the try me position okay get in the off position right if I undo those screws what are we gonna see? I think we might have to go for it. I don't think we're going to be able to see the cams without taking it apart. I just don't really want all the wires to start falling off.
one little thing oh you could probably just pop the motor out by pulling that tab down except they've hot glued it in place not a big problem but annoying If I do that screw and that screw, I think that'll lift up and we'll be able to see. There must just be a simple gear on the shaft there. one more screw there can we get to that Those three are all the same size. Okay. Doesn't want to come apart easily. That's the battery wires. Okay. So, battery wires. Right, we've got another switch there. Looks like it detects when it's on the ground. I should think that's what that does. If you lift it off the ground, I wonder if it stops when you lift it off the ground. That's clearly what that switch does. It detects when the wheels are hanging free. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, okay, we've got a screw there, we've got a screw there. I reckon uh, there's certainly a screw there going through the circuit board. Don't know whether it actually holds that plate in place or not. Let's find out, Grandad. That one. Lift that out. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the same as those. the same. Is that going to lift off? No. I didn't really think it would, but I was hoping it might. So I think we've actually got to undo the screws on the circuit board. They are a different size. No, they're not. They are the same size. Yep, yeah, they're all the same size. Okay, circuit board. So we can see the black blob. 
And I should think that little eight pin chip there is probably the motor controller. I'm just guessing, but probably. Now, is that gearbox all going to come apart? Yes. Okay, are we ready for this? Lever it up gently. Are we going to be in a real mess or are we going to be okay? Oh, there's a fairly big spring positions this oh, I can see which is probably going to be a problem to get back on again I've got a nasty feeling I can't lift this all the way up without pulling the wheels off yeah, that's what's stopping me. I can't get it apart without pulling the wheels off the shaft. And I don't want to do that, because I probably won't get them back on again. So what can we see? We've got motor. There's a series of reduction gears coming down here to drive this. And then going across that way, there's some gears to drive a, a gear there that's got a cam on it that slides this up and down, which is spring mounted to return it where it should be. And we're not going to get it off. So say because we can't do it without pulling the wheels off the shaft. And that spring has moved. I knew it would move. claws right off out the way so there's less weight floating around. That spring's got to go down over that bit there. Is it going to stay on there? Ooh, I think it did. Is unlucky. I might be forced to take it right apart so we can actually deal with that. Something not lined up, that's not clipping in there. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute while Grandad struggles.
that one's slipped down. Right, I think we might be forced to take this apart just so we can see what we're doing. Doesn't want to. Okay, in that case, we we'll have to take these apart because they're flopping around and causing problems. That should be a bit less weight flapping around there, causing me trouble. Yes, that sits on there, that sits on there. So what's not lining up? All back in place now. Now that I really struggled. Oh, 
是。So those are the left and right bits. Right, okay, so where we were where we were up to was without separating the wheels off this axle, we can't actually get the gearbox apart. So we can't look inside. We could peek as far as I was able to peek. But if anything drops out of position, as happened, we can't get it apart to put it back in place. I was just lucky. I was managed, managed to manoeuvre the bits so they all went back in place. So, yeah, another sort of not really a full teardown, Grandad as far as we can go. I mean, you know, we can we can deduce what there must be. Motor, several gears coming up this way in reduction fashion, so we've got plenty of power to drive the axle. And then going this way, there's some gears, one of which has got a, a cam sticking outside that goes round and round with a peg sticking out that pushes this up and down. But we're not going to be able to see it without me getting them off. Mm. Right, I'm trying to think whether I can do it. I'm going to put a screw back in there for now so it doesn't suddenly spring apart and we lose the gears. Big pair of pliers. Can I get a grip on there? I don't think there's any way I'm going to do that. Nah. It'll be destructive if I do that. So I'm not going to do it. always try heating it to soften it but nah, I'm not gonna do it sorry that's as far as we can go I got to try and get it back together now Those two. We did at least look at the back of the circuit board and saw the black blob and the motor controller. That motor drive. OK, 
okay. Is that off? I think that's off. Play off. Ho ho ho. Can we remember the order things went back together? go under there by any chance. There's a little peg for them to sit behind. I think. Probably. One screw went in there. That's going to be fun. Okay. Check we didn't trap that wire. No, that wire's okay. Screw there, screw there. What do we call one of these teardowns where we didn't quite get to see all the little bits and pieces? An almost teardown, a partial teardown, a nearly teardown. piece is there. So this is the piece that was on this side. And there's a screw there that clips under there. But I couldn't see. Ah, I know how we could have got to that screw. I bet if we took the battery batteries out. Is it under there somewhere? No. Oh. Well, how on earth are you supposed to get to that screw? Maybe you don't. That sort of clipped under there. LED back in again before we lose it. Alright, 
Put in place. Oh, as long as you don't forget the wheels. Rude words. Clipped him back in place nicely, but we haven't got the wheels back on. LED is very close to the wires on the motor, which is possibly why it had uh, hot glue on the motor to stop those wires making contact. <sighs> right. in place quite yet. I wonder which way round it went. Does it matter? Oh yes, there's a little keyway there. We need to sort these out again, don't we? One on that side. Well, I cheated a little bit. I didn't actually undo all the screws. Oh, come on. Those little screws. Oh. 
Ah, oh, what fun. side. That's going to be that one. That sits in there. Yep, that looks about right. Can get this one right too. It's going to be in there, over there, on there. that bit right finally we had a wire fall off we've been doing pretty well up until then that one's the speaker wire which I have to solder back on there but if that's the only wire that's come loose that's not too bad except I think it should have been Oh, we'll worry about that in a second. Can we worry about that in a second? Yes, we'll be all right. All right, this. Comes around here somewhere. It's there, and that bit. Let's get one of those screws in.
right, as I say, one wire loose needs uh, resoldering. And I think with all those wires, if that's the only one that's come loose, we've done very well. I'll get the soldering iron out and put that one back on. Right, waiting for the soldering iron to warm up. Go on there. Oh, well that solved that problem. <laughs> the other wire just fell off. Strip a little bit of insulation off the end. Come on, I can't get hold of it. Okay. Wait to see what I'm doing. Okay. Should we look okay? Yeah. Let's put that back in there. So on. Looks like we might be heading the right direction. Uh, that switch. Goes over there, but which way round did that go? Trying to work out what that spring did, but I think if we push it there, we can see it rubs against that bit of bodywork and stops it being pushed too far. But it's got to sit on there for us to be able to get it in place. Oh, have I forgotten something? No, I think we're okay. I think. Check those wires don't get caught on anything. Oh yeah, he was a tight fit, wasn't he? That's what that was. I had to spring him into place.
Yeah, that's in place. That's in place. Wheels turn. So one, two, three, four, five screws. I've got to have forgotten something. I'll just have a recap. Yes, I had forgotten something. I could see I've got two screws left over, and they're the ones that go down in there. I'm glad I spotted them. I would have had it all back together, and now I have to put it all, take it all apart again. Right, so these ones. Right in there. Well, that was a bit of luck, I noticed them. That's better. Right. That goes over there. This comes over here. They were a tight fit on there. I have to squeeze it in to make it fit. That's it. There. Right. Now. These were the ones that were a different size. That took a lot longer than I expected to. I should have known better, I suppose. These little tykes toys are very well made. They're certainly not cheap. That's in cheap materials. I've no idea how much they cost brand new. I've never bought a new one. Right, all back together. I should we turn the soldering on off now? I hope I can. those switches that were detecting uh, detecting when it hit something 
and reverse the motion. Yeah, right. Well, as I say, that was a lot more effort than I expected. And we didn't actually get to see the gears in the gearbox. Or at least you didn't. I could see them through the crack that I'd opened. But without getting those wheels off the shaft, there was no way of splitting the gearbox. And as it works, I'd rather leave it working and donate it back to another charity shop now. Just very briefly, something I missed out, or at least I showed when we took it apart, but missed out in the demonstration. It was the there was a switch down there that detected whether the axles or the wheels were touching the ground or not. So if we switch it on, it's on, press the button, nothing happens other than he makes the noise. Whereas if we push them up and touch that. So it looks like as soon as you pick it up, yeah, it detects as soon as somebody picks it up and it stops it, stops the wheels turning, stops the um, claws shutting. Oh, and that was the other thing, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I jam something in there. Oh, hold the wheels up. Yeah. So those switches work as well. Yeah. So there's switches in there that detect when it hits something on the left or the right and it reverses direction. There's a switch down there that can tell whether it's on the ground or not. And it only does the full operation if it's on the ground. If it's not on the ground, it just makes the noise. And then the switches in there detect if anybody jams their little fingers in there. So it turns it off to stop them getting their fingers crushed. A clever toy. Lots of detail in it. And that's off. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.